We've been discussing this since late 2011. This is a short list of some of the most watched videos we have about our changing sun. The last one is very much a summary and the only one you'd need to see now. The idea is that the sun is at the end of its grand solar cycle and is about to plunge into a grand minimum like we saw 400 years ago. Let's begin by looking at part of one of those videos I mentioned earlier, the coming solar cycles. We know that temperatures drop during a grand minimum, but how much? And what else should we expect? These are driving concerns. So let's look back at history and see what we can discern about the coming solar cycles. About a decade ago, the sun changed gears. It began weakening faster than any decline on record for the past 9,300 years and appears set to bottom out like it did 400 years ago in the Maunder period, the last grand minimum. Chowdhury, 2013, the single best reconstruction of the last 11,000 years, goes by data reconstruction and solar dynamics modeling. The modeling math shows the grand minima come every 350 to 450 years, with observational data suggesting we go quiet and cold every 400, right in the middle. Let's look back to that time, the mini ice age that capped off the much longer little ice age, and which was the icing on the cake for many disasters on this planet. 400 years ago puts us right on track for the minimum, and the primary concern via cold weather and droughts is famine. In the 1630s, two million people died due to famine in India. Beginning in the late 1640s, huge portions of Europe developed famines. In the early 1660s, India went two full years without a single drop of rain. 1680, famine killed 80,000 people in Sardinia. The famine of the 1690s killed 15% of the population of Scotland. Two million dead in France during that same period. Later in the decade, more than 100,000 people died in Sweden and Estonia. And at the turn of the century, two million more people died due to famine in India. Just a few years later, Eastern Prussia lost 40% of its population to famine. Given the cold NASA has identified between a grand minimum and a normal or slightly weak solar cycle, what sort of shift would we experience coming off the grand maximum of the age of global warming? And look how quickly many of these drops occur, and our current weakening is faster than those. And the confirmations just keep coming. We've seen scientists from NASA, the NSO, ESA, and many universities predict the coming weak solar activity, and the newest is probably the most impressive. For the first time, a model has accurately recreated the solar cycle activity with almost 100% accuracy, and it predicts that we are indeed heading for another grand minimum period, just like we saw with the last mini ice age, an era of global climate disaster and famine. And we're talking about the very next cycles of the sun over the next few decades, not something generations away. Surprise, surprise, it's magnetic waves integral to the workings of our star that drive these longer term cycles. When the north and south are synced, the solar activity rises like we saw during the previous centuries, but they have been going out of phase and will be inverse to each other, perfectly out of sync, and the sun will go back to sleep like it did long ago. We've seen all the signs, we've watched it build as the experts wade in from around the world, and now the most accurate model ever agrees that our future is nearly certain. Another Maunder-like minimum is at hand. By the way, as the quasi-obsessive space weatherman who spends as much time watching the sun as anyone else on Earth, I will confirm that indeed this out-of-phase magnetic wave pattern is the cause of the north-south magnetic field imbalance that these scientists were only half sure of. Buck up, chums, you were 100% correct. And let me pull the solar polar magnetic field data from spaceweathernews.com so you can see how the largest fields of our star are getting weaker, and how the southern fields are this much more powerful than the northern fields. Since the last polar reversal of the last three years or so, the southern fields are about five times stronger. 
As a brief reminder, we are seeing fewer solar flares, fewer CMEs, fewer geomagnetic storms, fewer proton events, weaker solar wind, weaker magnetic fields, and perhaps most importantly, the sunspots are becoming far more scarce. Taking a peek inside our upcoming book on this topic, and many others very much related to it, the patterns we're seeing in sunspots are precisely what the Maunders saw 400 years ago. That's the same Maunders for whom the Maunder Grand Minimum is named. What they saw, we see again now. Add in the other solar indices on the decline and the models showing that we are due and knocking on the door. You can be pretty sure the sun is going to sleep.